Happy Woo! New Year. Good to see you. Happy New Year. She was just saying that, um, so normally you like to homebody on, on New Year's Eve, yeah? I do. Mm-hmm. And, I do. And will he, your your partner, your life partner. My life partner. Yeah, <laughs> he, likes, he likes a good adventure, yeah? Yes. I love you for that. Thank you. Well, I'm fascinated. <laughs> I mean, I've known you for a long time, but now I really feel like I know you. Yeah. After what you've been showing everybody in this streaming show. Yeah, you know? Red Table Talk, In the House. I'm yeah. just so curious about so many. First of all, um, the reason to be so open and vulnerable and do it in your life, which you do not need to do, right. was why? Um, I had three experiences with three women at uh, very crucial moments in my life that were courageous enough to be completely transparent with me and it really prevented me from doing some really stupid stuff. Really? And I thought to myself, I was like, women need to talk more like this together because I feel like it would prevent um, just a lot of pitfalls. It's like if, if someone's willing to share, hey, this is what happened to me, you can look at it and go, oh yeah, I can see that I'm about to crash into that wall as well Mm -hmm. you know so um after those three experiences um I just realized I was like I really just want to have more candid more transparent conversations and at this point in your life what else is there to do Mm -hmm. (laughs) well no I mean it is it is interesting because people know of you from your work and you obviously you've been much more private than what this show is right and I think that you know for for many people, you look at it and say, wow, that is, I, I get to know her. Yeah. Like, I know her, but now I get to connect with, what was one of the most difficult and challenging things to talk about that even when you finished the show, your heart was still pounding? I would probably say uh, the show about loss, because I'd actually, within moments before shooting that show, actually lost a very close friend of mine. I got a phone call. Um, and then... I got to learn some things about Willow in that particular episode. And I really learned a lot. Um, And there were a lot of things that I had to, in the moment, kind of handle. I I remember Willow sitting there and talking about, you know, her self-harm situation. And me, in in a moment, having to catch myself and go, this is not about you. This is not about what you should have done. This is really about you listening to your daughter and celebrating her strength. Wow, and that's hard to do. It's a hard Mm -hmm. thing, but I remember having, in the moment, having to catch myself and really get into a conversation and into a a more um, energetic wave of just being very proud of her, of of being able to pull herself through that moment. Because as much as we love our kids, we can't be there for every... Mm -hmm dark space and I had real understanding about that because there was a lot of dark moments in my own life that I kept away from my mother just because I didn't want to burden but her but yet she's there with you but yet but she's, she's right she's there. sitting right there with <laughs> yeah. you <laughs> yeah I love and, the dynamic and so that dynamic is fascinating as well Jada Pink and Smith is here how about the, the kids you mentioned Willow but did the kids ever say okay mom this is off limits <laughs> Like, please, we need to, like, because I know Kelly Ripa, like, for example, like Lola, her teenager, right. rolls her eyes every time Lola comes up on the show. <laughs> right, so, right. you know, she would love a world where Lola didn't come up on the show. Right. I, You know what? I, not really. I think my kids are in that space, too, because of everything that they've kind of gone through. They're they're ready to, to share it. And I think there's a certain freedom of having a a certain amount of transparency because people think these things of you and now when you could just put it on the table like this is who I am have it leave it take it whatever you want to do with it um it, it it is a liberating feeling that I think even my kids were were ready for and even though we share a lot on the show we still are very private because these are situations that we are sharing that we've kind of you've gone through. We've gone through yeah. already, yeah, so that's know, different. You know the ending. And yes, yeah, we I know the it. ending already, right? It's, so now you know the things that we're going through now. Maybe we're not ready to talk it's, about. So we'll wait another seven years. T- t- Tanya, it's like oh, it's like when you take a picture on Instagram and you save it for a day. Yeah. That's kind of what she's talking about. Yeah. You know, there's a delayed mm-hmm. post. Exactly. Um, watch new episodes of Red Table Talk. It's every Monday on Facebook. Watch. We'll come back, talk more with Jada Pink and Smith. Also, who has a film at Sundance, too. Yeah. I want to touch upon that. Kiss FM. Hang on. Um, 
I wanted to ask you, so before we get to the movie about Sundance, we did mention that you call, well, your life partner. You've talked yes. about this on the show. Yep. What's the significance of that beyond husband and wife? You know, it. Uh, I just felt like husband and wife had a lot of limitations to it. And I just realized with the death of my father, um, I realized that it was very difficult for me to connect to him because of this title dad this title father right I couldn't really see him as a human being I did a lot of rejecting of him and couldn't really embrace him as a human being because I felt like he had failed me as a father because that's the only way I could identify him and I felt like in some of my um in part of my journey with Will not being able to really embrace him as a human being and really embrace his traumas, his problems, and only being willing to see him as a husband Mm -hmm. really made us, it had a limitation on our connection and my willingness um, of how I was connecting to him. Mm. And I just decided I wanted to drop all that. I just wanted to drop it. It it doesn't service uh, me anymore in the sense of really wanting to um, embrace him and really everybody in my life in in the most pure way. Instead of only in these little boxes. Isn't it powerful oh. that we're in control of that? Yes, we like, are. The only reason they're yeah. in the box is because of our head. Of our heads, of our thinking. <laughs> like, and so for me, I had to drop that title because right. I had away. to expand. Yeah, I, had to, I was like, oh my goodness. And let me tell you, it has been so beautiful. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I think that that, I mean, it can apply to a lot of things in life. We think of things in these boxes right. and then you stop and go, well, wait. Nobody's in there but me. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's right. I'm the, the one, one that can break down those walls. Totally. Yes, absolutely. So it's fascinating to hear. And that's why people are loving watching on Facebook. Now, mm-hmm. let's get back to the root of all of this, which yes. is your amazing acting so and, and film work as well. Yes. But what's happening in the Sundance movie? So uh, Hala is a is a movie that I produced. Um, and a young woman, uh, Minha Baig, uh, wrote and directed it. She's from Palestine. And it's basically her coming of... Uh, of age story of growing up in Chicago and trying to um, reconcile her traditional Palestinian family lifestyle with just being a a Mm. American teenage girl. So it's really about how she finds and and walks that fine line. Um, And then uh, I was really proud of it because you have women that are leading the charge on camera, behind the camera, every department head was a woman on this particular wow, film. That's yes. So, you know, just answering my girl Regina King's call. Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, I got you, Regina. You know, just know. flowing power to to women um, every chance we get. So So you were doing that before she made that announcement. I did, but you know, it just came every- out at house. So I'm I'm gonna give I'm gonna put that on her scorecard. Okay. <laughs> but so are you you're you're producing it? Are you in it at all? No, just you're producing. Just producing it. Yeah, That's myself great. and Overbrook and my brother and Jamal and Clarence and Janet Babatunde Bay. It's a bunch of us that came together to make it no. happen. To those who don't understand, like we talk about Sundance, and you hear Sundance in the news and everything. Yeah, what what is it? What has to happen? What does it mean to have a movie at Sundance? Well, I mean, for a first time director like this young lady, it means everything. It's so many filmmakers and and industry people that have the opportunity to see your work. Right. I've seen so many fabulous talent come out of Sundance. So really it's just an opportunity for people to see what what you're able to do and hopefully sell your movie. And then they put the movie out and distribute <laughs> yes, it, right? Yes, exactly. It. Well, it's so great to see you. Congratulations on everything. Thank you. Appreciate you always making time to come by and see us. I appreciate that you're always willing to have me. Oh, oh listen, I have four hours a day. You can come as many <laughs> yeah, times. Yeah, please come can. every day. <laughs> we, got, we, got, we got plenty of things we can talk about with you. You're yeah, an open yeah. book now. <laughs> Jada Pinkett-Smith is here. Don't forget, Red Table Talk is every Monday on Facebook. Watch, we're coming back.